Rita came into the world in early September. She's cheerful, thirsty and curious. Everything a parent could hope for. And for her mother Agnieszka, nothing short of a miracle. The beginning is such a joy. We're still enjoying this feeling of bliss. Rita's a real joy for me and my husband. The miracle got underway here, nine months before Rita was born, at an in vitro fertility treatment center. As demonstrated here, the egg is fertilized with a sperm cell under the microscope. That's how Rita came to be. Before that, like many other couples, her parents had tried for years to conceive. Even with in vitro, only one in three attempts succeeds on average. But every procedure is billed and pricey. In Poland, each IVF cycle costs around 3,000 euros. That's far too much for most young couples, says the clinic's director. It would be ideal if these procedures could be reimbursed fully, like in other countries. In little Rita's case, at least, the city of Wroclaw covered half the cost. It means a lot to us because the whole procedure was very expensive and the city paid half the bill. That helped us a lot. I think it would also help other people who want to take part in the program. It could also help Poland in general. The country's population is aging and the birth rate is declining. Hundreds of thousands of couples are unable to conceive. IVF or artificial insemination could offer them a chance. About a decade ago, Poland did in fact have a program to support couples wanting children. But the right-wing conservative government ended the financial aid. Now representatives in parliament rail against IVF. Some even call it human breeding. Subsidies for human production, that is, for in vitro procedures, are not a way to deal with infertility. This is about the procreation of a human being. The ending of state support has real-world effects on the in vitro center. Not every couple who can make use of the treatment is able to afford it, says Robert Giesler, the center's medical director. They have to raise the money, usually from their families, or they need to cut costs elsewhere. Unfortunately, we estimate 10 to 15 percent of couples never get further treatment due to financial reasons. The city of Wroclaw's Liberal government is unwilling to accept this situation and supports fertility treatments from its own budget. Wroclaw has been funding the in vitro program for four years. At one time it was possible to have the Polish state pay for the treatment. For political reasons, the government won't do that anymore. But we'd like to give people this chance. The issue has been hotly debated in the Polish election campaign. Members of the Law and Justice Party are staunch opponents of IVF. They've been in power nationally since 2015. But in Wrocław, the Liberal Civic Platform Party has the upper hand. It's also the party with the best chance of ousting the incumbent Polish government in the next election, partly because of its stance on fertility treatments. I'm for freedom of choice and would like to see all such medical procedures funded by the state. We asked the governing Conservative Party why they oppose IVF and thus a way of increasing the sagging birth rate. We made a number of written and phone requests, but never received an answer. However, a video of Deputy Prime Minister Jarosław Kaczynski makes his position clear. This is the situation. Young women are drinking just as much alcohol as men. So, there aren't any children. Rita's mother would like to see as many couples as possible gain access to fertility treatments and fulfill their dream of having a child. And she hopes that the next Polish government will help make that happen.